Okay, well, let me tell you a little something about Canadians, okay? <laughs> you one thing, if you don't already have a bunch of Canadian friends, you need to get something because they are the most fun people you will ever, ever spend time with. They know how to party. <laughs> but, you know, they can party to the wee hours of the morning and they can still wake up early and get things done all day long. I respect that. <laughs> Uh, the two people that we're going to bring up, uh, Nick and I have uh, really, really built a strong relationship with. Um, they're not just our business partners, but they're definitely in our very, very close inner circle of friends. And, um, you know, anytime we have, you know, a party at our house in Miami or um, we ever have a special event, you know, they're definitely two people that we think of first that we have uh, just fallen in love with as friends. And um, I'll tell you what, they're more than friends and business partners now. Um, these two, uh, we're chasing right now, aren't we? <laughs> so they're leading the way, guys. And uh, I'm going to let Nick tell you a little bit more about these amazing people. Well, guys, this journey began when I got a phone call from uh, an individual from Canada. He was the first distributor in Canada for us, Mr. Matt Britt. And um, Matt Britt said, look, I have someone you want, you want to meet, you want to meet him right away. I'm gonna, he's going to become my sponsor. And he put me on the phone with this gentleman and he was very analytical, slightly guarded, you know, very digging into the comp plans, digging into this, digging into that. And after about 19 consecutive hours on a conference call with him, uh, uh, digging into stuff, finally I remember you know, to just kind of stopping and say, Jason, you can find a company that will have a, a great comp plan. You can find something that might have a higher percentage here or a better this or a, a shinier object or a better widget. But at the end of the day, if you don't love the people that you're going to work with for years to come, then what is the point? And uh, I told him, if he came here, he would be successful just like he would be successful anywhere he was going to go, but he was going to love the people he's going to work with. We were going to build a friendship and a relationship for years to come. And ever since that day, that uh, message has rang true. We become phenomenal friends and business partners. He is uh, the first ambassador from Canada, the first three star, the first five star, the first royal from Canada, and now the very first crown ambassador in the history of Isalis. Please stand and look at the aisle here and welcome to the stage, crown ambassadors Jason O'Toole and Jennifer Graber. <laughs>
You guys are the movers and shakers. You're the action takers. You're our heroes. You really are heroes. You get up every single day. And you give the finger to mediocrity. You get up every single day. And you refuse to do anything less and make sure that you change at least one person's life. That's why you're our heroes, so thank you. We're blessed, we're honored, and most importantly, we're very humbled to be a part of your team. You guys have taught us what it means to be servant-driven leaders. You taught us what it means to sell out for your team. You guys have sold out for us so many times. You've made us better people. And you've taught us what it means to love other people more than yourself. And I will be forever grateful for all of you. I've said it before, and I just said it actually. <laughs> you just make me such a better person, and I, I love and appreciate all of you. Thank you. Guys, it's, uh, it's, it's such, Jennifer said it so well, you know, we, um, it's such an honor to be up here, it's such a privilege, and, you know, it's, it's been 16 months, and I don't even know what the heck's going on yet. It's, um, I mean, what, we've been so blessed, and we've been so um, inspired over the past 16 months, it absolutely blows my mind. The, the team that we've um, managed to attract is something that I would have never expected. Um, in my entire life. It's just, you know, we have to pinch ourselves literally not to be cliche, but it's, you know, I mean, the, the people that we have managed to surround ourselves with um, is, is absolutely mind-blowing. You know, I don't want to, uh, there's too many people to thank, but, uh, you know, I definitely want to want to thank uh, Lauren and Tannis uh, for all that you guys do, your incredible leadership, uh, and all of your inspiration, and definitely want to thank uh, Dale Peak and uh, Rhonda Peak for all that you guys do, and uh, as well at Rick and Elaine Linus and Aaron Fortner for the incredible five-star run that we were, we were a part of last, last month. It was uh, probably the most incredible experience that, that I've had uh, in, in this industry to watch somebody come together, a team come together as strong as, as that group did to go from one star to five star. It was an absolutely incredible experience. As well, Frank and Lori Petrilli for uh, Frank Barron and Lori Petrilli for all that you guys do, the work ethic that you bring to the table, and uh, what you've helped us to uh, to become just over the past five months with respect to uh, you know really moving, really shaking, and, and really getting down there and uh, not wasting any time. Uh, you've made us better people in that regard, and, and I thank you for that, uh, Matt Britt for making the introduction to uh, to, to Nick and uh, Rob Hamilton, Tony Williamson uh, for and Matt Britt for being uh, crazy enough to to follow me one more time. Um, I appreciate and love you guys for that. You know, our story was, I'll, I'll give you a quick version of our story. We, uh, we were basically, you know, I've been an entrepreneur my whole life and, you know, we um, got introduced to network marketing some time ago and, you know, we, uh, we failed at it every single day and we were extremely good at failing at it. And we never had any success in any companies whatsoever, and in fact got so frustrated with network marketing that basically laid it off to the side and uh, hadn't done anything with it for a couple of years. And we uh, basically were in a position where uh, we were six figures in debt. We had absolutely you know, nothing to go on. And you know, we couldn't pay uh, rent, we couldn't pay to live, we couldn't afford food, we couldn't, uh, we couldn't do anything. And, you know, I wasn't really working at the time. Jennifer uh, is, is a nurse. She was working as a nurse. She was working seven days a week uh, to put food on the table. And I always respect her and love her for that. Uh, she stepped up.
But one day uh, she was at work and I got the car repoed and I had to run around and scramble a thousand dollars to get the car back before she got home because she was going to be pissed. <laughs> my buddy Rob Hamilton, who has been one of my best friends for six, seven years now, uh, went and borrowed money off his already lower than li lower limit line of credit and went to Tim and borrowed hundred dollars and just basically borrowed all the money from friends and that was our life. That's, that's the way that we were living and uh, you know at the end of the day we made a decision to uh, draw a line in the sand and say we needed to get busy at doing something. I needed to get busy at doing something. And it decided to take a stab at network marketing, as Nick alluded to, uh, really did some due diligence and really spent some time, you know, figuring out where we were going to go and what we were going to do. And, you know, after meeting with Nick and really um, getting to feel him, what he doesn't know is that all I was looking for was the right people. That was it. That's all I ever was looking for. I didn't, I, it didn't matter. We could be selling pencils up here, Nick. I still would have joined you. <laughs> We're just looking for the right people. And, you know, we, uh, we, we came back from that, that meeting down at Nick's house and decided to put our heads to the, to the ground and, and started running, drew a line in the sand and said, this is it. And we're going to make this happen. And I was, uh, as I mentioned, we were $100,000 in debt at the time. Uh, government basically came and said, "Hey, we want your, we want the money. Pay it now." And I said, "Well, I don't have it." And they said, "Well, you better find it." And I was like, "Am I in an episode of Gangster's Paradise or something?" They said, "What are you going to do?" And they're like, "Well, you know, there's uh, lots of things that we can do." And I didn't want to go down that road, so uh, we had to make $100,000 real fast. And you know, within 45 days, hit the position of ambassador. And, you know, we just kept running and running and running and running and, the, you know, we didn't even take the time to, to look at this thing. Uh, how, what's the old saying? Knowledge on fire. Knowledge on fire is better than ignorance on ice. Is that the saying? The other way around. Knowledge on ice is ignorance on fire. I don't know. We were on fire. People were coming from miles to watch our hair burn. <laughs> we were just running and running and running. And, you know, we kept running. We kept running and never took the time to figure anything out. We just knew that what we had was working. And fast forward six, uh, nine months later, in the month of December, uh, hit Five Star Ambassador because, once again, of our incredible team sacrificing our Decembers, our Christmas, our New Years. You know, we've always lived by the philosophy of sacrifice today, what you want for the rest of your life. And, uh, you know, as Nick says, don't stop and take a vacation and go to the lake. Stop when you're able to buy the lake. And that was the, uh, you know, that's where we were at at that point in time. So fast forward again, 15 months later, we went from six figures in debt to six figures a month, earning a million dollar check, and we are absolutely not stopping there either. We have a lot left to do, guys. We still have a whole bunch of people here that deserve their $250,000 checks, their million dollar checks, and, and beyond. Guys, one thing that I can promise you here is that now that we have experienced this and we are debt free, we will not quit until we see and are able to be your biggest cheerleaders. We can sit in those chairs right there and yell and scream for you guys as you walk across this stage with your million dollar check. Because if we can do it, we did not, we sat exactly where you were. If we can do this, you can do this. You can do this. Is this not going to get a little bit easier? Woo! Guys, we love you. We appreciate you so much and so look forward to celebrating your guys' successes and your million dollar checks as you guys walk this stage. Love you all. Appreciate you all. Thank you so much from the bottom of our heart. We truly, truly love each and every one of you.